so heartbreaking. So heartbreaking. Like, you know it's coming sometimes, but still it hurts. Because you want to see your team come out victorious. I'm not a moral victory guy. I want to see the Knicks win games. I want to see them figure out how to close out games. And the Knicks didn't do that. They had their chance. No excuses. No excuses. Another heartbreaking loss. If it was the Portland Trailblazers game. If it was the Memphis Grizzlies game. And now this game. This was your chance to make a statement. This was your chance to beat another team over 500. I know we have beaten teams over 500. Such as the Nuggets. Such as the Jazz. But the Nuggets didn't have Jokic. The Jazz, they've kind of fallen off a little bit. They're still playing solid basketball, but they don't have a solidified like superstar. Like I want to beat a team that has really proven themselves. I'm not trying to be nitpicky here, but if the Knicks want to get out of this mediocrity tier, they need to win a big game like this and go on a little bit of a run or a winning streak. And the Knicks had their chances to capitalize down the stretch and didn't do it. So the New York Knicks are now two games under 500. We lost this game 109-103. Giannis fouls out at the very end of this game. Like, this is still going to be a, somewhat of a recap, but this is more of a reaction video. Just like, how could I just do this recap video without showing some emotion? Because I just feel emotions right now. I really do. And this was a pretty sloppy game. This was an aggressive, hard-fighting game. Credit to Mitchell Robinson. He was an absolute stud on the glass. He was probably the player of the game, in my opinion, for the New York Knicks. What do you have? 15, 16 points, 20 rebounds. He was a beast on the offensive glass. He was even a beast on the defensive glass. And he could have even had more if there was like a couple plays. He kind of just jumped for the ball instead of boxing out. And I thought he made Brooke Lopez his bitch in this game. But Brooke Lopez stepped up when it mattered most in that fourth quarter. He hit a huge three. And both these teams were atrocious from beyond the arc. But the Bucs got key buckets. They did. I don't know why RJ went under the screen on Grayson Allen. At least that's what I was watching in the initial moment. Because Jalen Brunson gets fouled in a big time moment. Brunson's struggling from the free throw line. He hurts his ankle very early on and that was scary. Brunson misses the first free throw. I'm like, oh God. Because he hasn't hit a free throw all night. Makes a second one. It's a tie game. We would have had a one point lead. But we still would have been down. Grayson Allen on the other end. They get out and running. Knocks down a huge three on the left wing. They have a lead. And I believe there was around maybe like 30, 40 seconds in that situation or in that moment when he hit that three so it was in a big time pivotal moment and I thought RJ initially went under the screen but he still had a good shot contest but it was just, it was a very difficult shot by Grayson Allen so I'm not going to try to nitpick it that much and the sad thing is RJ was having a pretty damn solid game he opened out opened it up for the New York Knicks you know RJ Randall knocks down a three who I thought played he had some nice buckets in the interior like he had some huge buckets when it came to the paint but I thought he just chucked up shots at times, and I was just not a big fan of the way his shot selection was. Bronson, I know he hurt his ankle, but I thought he took some dumb shots as well. It's just like we were moving the ball, and then we kind of go away from it at the same time. But RJ has this very nice behind-the-back, off-dribble, mid-range jumper. I'm like, shit, I like that. A mid-range jumper. That, that push shot was going down. He missed a couple. First half, RJ was a lot better than the second half. RJ knocked down some threes. But yeah, after Grayson Allen hit that huge three... The New York Knicks could have gotten a better quality shot. We didn't need a big-time three in that situation. RJ was jab-stepping, kind of forced a three in my opinion. He did have a turnover in that fourth quarter as well, but we overcame that adversity there, so that turnover in that fourth quarter wasn't a huge reason we lost this game. But this team just hasn't learned how to close out games. This is your chance. Giannis fouls out. You have your chance to capitalize. Yeah, it's your chance to overcome adversity, have a big-time statement win. And the New York Knicks just haven't been able to do it. They just haven't been. The Bucs are the number one ranked defense, though. They do have the best player in the world of Giannis Antetokounmpo, who had nearly 40 points and fouled out. But it's just like, I'm not a moral victory guy. You have to learn and figure out how to win games. You do. It's a straight-up truth. We even see, like, I know everyone's going to say, but the Bucs are just a better team. But you never know in the NBA. Like, you have to catch them. I'm not going to say catch them on a bad night. But you have to bring your A game and try to execute at the highest level. And I do think the Knicks did that. But we even see younger teams somehow come out victorious up against these higher up, higher echelon type of teams. Like, the Knicks need to be one of those teams. Like, come out with an upset. Shock the world. I know they don't have Chris Middleton, but they're still a damn good basketball team. But yeah, Mitchell Robinson, player of the game. Beast on the glass. Credit to Mitch. Beast in the interior as well. At least at the beginning of the game, though, I wasn't a big fan of the interior defense. Drew Holiday was able to get in the lane. Grayson Allen was, Allen was able to have some cuts back door. 
Holiday played one hell of a game. He hit a huge three. Like, the three-point shooting was atrocious, but Brooke Lopez hit a huge three. Holiday hit a huge three. Even Giannis hit a huge three in the fourth quarter. Like, they hit shots when it mattered most, though. I'm not saying the Knicks didn't, but I'm talking about in the very pivotal, pivotal moments the Bucs did. And they had some stupid fouls. Like, when Holiday fouled RJ outside on the perimeter, he went two for three there. Free throw shooting needs to be better when it came to this game. We've been better compared to last season this We've been better this season from the free throw line compared to last season, but it's just so frustrating. Like, we need to figure it out, like, how to execute down the stretch. And at times, like, I know Hardenstein had some nice tip-ins, but then there were some moments I'm like, damn, we just allowed someone to just drive right to the basket and get an easy layup. Like, Sims, I might have a video coming out on Sims. Like, Sims deserves playing time. I know we gave Isaiah Hornstein two years, $16 million, but Sims sets hard screens. He puts pressure on the defense, rolling to the basket. You know, I know he has to be better from a discipline standpoint, but I love the way he boxes out and he just fights hard out there. He deserves some minutes. He played so solid when he did get very quality action out there. And the very frustrating thing about Brunson is that, like, Brunson gets these key moments to put us back in the game, but then he misses the free throw or, like, just no one really, like, Randall got clutch buckets. You know, like, RJ would get big buckets, Brunson would get big buckets, but when it would be, like, 50 seconds left, like, those types of moments, like, it just seems like no one has a clutch gene in their body. And it's also on Tibbs that we should have had a better play design in that situation when RJ did take that three. But just, like, wow, just such a frustrating game. Looking at the box score here for the Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis, 37 points, 7 assists, 13 rebounds. He was just an absolute beast. There was times that I thought we did a good good job setting up the wall. There were sometimes I didn't think we did. Yeah, Brooke Lopez had nine points. But when you take a look at those nine points, like that one huge three out of those nine points, like the value of those points really go up. Drew Holiday was brilliant, 22 points, 9 of 19, 2 of 6 from 3, 5 assists, 6 rebounds, played very physical. Javon Carter had some nice defensive moments. Grayson Allen, 11 points, but that huge three. You know, Bobby Portis had his moments. Crashed the glass very well, 12 rebounds. George Hill, not much to really say about him. Like, he had a nice push-off floater, but it was like there was no help defensively. You could say that was on IQ. You could say that was on Randall. Pat Connaughton hit a huge three as well. I feel like he always hits a huge shot against us. But I was not a big fan of Randall's shot selection. I know he got some big buckets in the interior, but he needs to be better when it comes to his shot selection. Mitch, no complaints from him. 15 points, 20 rebounds. He... Went to the free throw line in a big moment as well. In, the, in this moment here, here I have it written down right here. There's, there's so many crazy moments. I, I talked about RJ being fouled at the three-point line. Hit two or three to make it a two-point game. But then Drew Holiday has a clutch shot, four-point game. Randall's a tip in two-point game. Like, this is play-by-play. Play. We just can't, like, we're getting buckets. Can't get a stop. Brunson responds, two-point game. Giannis fouls out. Mitch free throws, chance to tie the game. Yeah, he's free throws, chance to tie the game. First free throw, good, missed the second. We get this offensive board, and this is when Brunson was fouled, and he went one for two there. Like, the the first one is no good. Second was good. Tie, 103-103. Grayson Allen, three. Hit that huge shot, kind of went away. It just... I wish we, like... I thought OB was all right. Seven points at 14 minutes. Wish we got more OB. 14 minutes, just damn... Reddish, 14 minutes. He rose didn't look that impressive when he was out there. Quickly, I thought, played okay. We needed more from the bench, though. We did. Like, quickly was our... Got the most minutes off the bench with 18. Grimes had some nice moments defensively. Rebounded the ball. Well, he had a very nice drive to the basket, not settling for the three, threw it down. He didn't put up any crazy statistics, but damn, does he play hard. Dove on the floor. It just sucks. RJ, 26 points, two rebounds, three assists. He's turning a corner this game. He's 2 of 4 from 3, obviously. One huge missed 3. I just think we have to play better situational basketball and have better awareness down the stretch when it comes to the shots we take, the way we play defensively. Like, we need to do a better job sending help. We're communicating. Just the same story. Same story. Like, who knows how this game would have went if we communicated better, if we cleaned that up. Let me know down below your thoughts on this game. What pissed you off the most? Peace out, y'all.